Hello Geniuses, in this video we will derive the Fermi Dirac distribution law. In the previous video we derived this thermodynamic probability for Fermi Dirac stat. Now as we did in the Bose Einstein stat and Maxwell Boseman stat, using this we will derive this distribution law. So let us do that. Now as we did before, we will take its logarithm, then apply the Stirling's approximation, after that we will take its derivative and then use the method of Lagrange's multiplier, put that equal to 0 to get our answer. So let us do that. Let's take logarithm of this thing first. So log of this omega fd is equal to, this is in multiplication in here, but when we take logarithm, this will change to addition. So this changes to summation. Now log of gi factorial, and as we know, log of m divided by n is log of m minus log of n. So log of m minus log of n. So log of this thing is log of gi minus ni factorial, and in here it is minus because that minus like comes in here so minus log of ni factorial so this is what we have after taking logarithm now in this we will apply the Stirling's approximation so applying the Stirling's approximation which says log of x factorial is equal to x log of x minus x so we will apply it in here so in here it is log of gi factorial which becomes gi log of gi minus gi in here minus log of gi minus ni factorial so it becomes minus in here brackets gi minus ni log of gi minus ni this in here is in minus so plus gi minus ni because in here it is minus so minus minus plus and in here we have log of ni factorial so in here it is minus so minus ni log of ni in here it is minus so minus minus plus ni okay so we have this after applying the Stirling's approximation now in here see this this gi and gi cancels each other this ni and ni cancels each other so we have this thing left in here now we will take its derivative log of ln of omega ft which is equal to derivative of this whole thing in here now as we know that this gi is not a subject to variation so its derivative is zero so we just need to take the derivative of these two things in here so now in here first function derivative of this thing so derivative of gi is zero and derivative of ni is dni so we have first function derivative of second function which is dni in here so this is done then second function this thing ni minus gi and derivative of first function log of x is 1 upon x so 1 upon gi minus ni and derivative of inside thing which is chain rule derivative of this thing is minus of dni in here okay so minus of dni now minus this minus in here first function derivative of second function in here we have log of ni so 1 upon ni and derivative of inside thing applying chain rule in here so dni now this is minus so minus in here second function derivative of first function which is dni so we have this after taking the derivative in here so now in here look this ni and ni cancels each other this in here ni minus gi and this is gi minus ni but if we take this minus sign in here and multiply it so we have plus gi and minus ni and this is now plus okay so this cancels each other now we have remaining this dni which is in here in plus and in here we have a minus dni so these two also cancel each other so we have remaining these two things in here so we take minus dni common in here to keep this log of ni in the numerator because log of m minus log of n is log of m divided by n we just need to keep this ni on numerator that's why we take minus dni common so we have this thing in here now we will apply the constraints as we did in the maxwell boseman stat and also in bose einstein stat so we have two constraints in here the total number of particles is constant and the total energy is constant that means this thing in here is constant and that means derivative of this is zero and derivative of this is zero so adding this thing in here 
with multiplying it by alpha these are the lagrange's multiplier we are using the method of lagrange's multiplier and multiplying this by beta and now adding this in here adding zero won't changes but help us take care of these two constraints also now doing this adding this alpha dni plus beta ei dni in here we take that dni common in here we have this thing now this whole thing is equal to zero now if this whole thing is equal to zero this inside thing is also equal to zero now just some rearrangement taking that alpha plus beta ei on the other side with this minus sign taking this log in here this will become e raised to our minus alpha plus beta ei now we like flip it so we have this gi minus ni on the numerator and ni on denominator now in here we have like this gi divided by ni minus ni divided by ni so these two cancel we have this minus one in here we will take this minus sign on the other side so we have this gi divided by ni which is equal to e raised to our alpha plus beta ei plus one now we have this thing in here now we can write it like this taking this whole thing in here and ni in here we have this thing in here now this is the fermi dirac distribution law this is what we needed to find the only thing left in here is this alpha plus beta ei now in the next video we will determine these lagrange's multipliers now let us see what form this function takes when we put this alpha and beta in here now as we know that ni upon gi is the occupancy we will denote it by f we have learned about it in detail in statistical mechanics in a nutshell video so you must watch that video and this alpha and beta comes out to be this this alpha is minus mu upon kbt and this beta is 1 upon kbt now putting all this in here gives us the more familiar version of fermi dirac distribution law this is ei multiplied by beta that is ei divided by kbt and minus mu upon kbt plus 1 that's so simple so this is what we needed to derive so at the end of every video i share something fun to you so here's a fun meme here's a tom and jerry meme in physics mostly we ignore this air resistance so this is what this meme is so thanks for watching this video and always remember that math is everything